Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly reading for the 19th to the 26th, September 2021. And when you come across this, how is your boy for a one-on-one -on -one reading? Uh, message me on Patreon if you can. I'm not sure if that's an, uh, a capability on Patreon. Uh, if not, Running Gun Tarot across all social media, TikTok, Instagram. Check out the YouTube Running Gun Tarot. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Or runandguntarot.com is the website spelled A N D for run and gun. Um, one on one readings are two dollars a minute or five dollars a question. It can be done over video, phone, chat, email, messenger, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Capricorn, we have Emperor Energy in the, in the background and on this card, bottom of the deck, and Seven of Wands in the reverse. That speaks to putting down your guard, being emotionally available and vulnerable, being receptive. Emperor in the upright is strength, stability, wisdom, vision. Sometimes being strong is being open and vulnerable and not having to fight and defend your territory or your turf, Capricorn. Okay, so these are highest possible messages for the 19th to the 26th or when you resonate and come across this. Therefore, this is technically a timeless reading as well. Uh, strength card in the reverse is internal internal energy. I read the reversals as internalized energy, subtle energy within yourself, meaning disciplined energy, okay, internal discipline. The Empress is out here. This is Venus energy, Libra energy. This is love, relationships, money, finances, desire, creativity with the number three here. This is a dynamic couple, the Empress and the energy. These are fucking, you know, Jay-Z and Beyonce. So you're being asked to be vulnerable with your counterpart, Capricorn. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising. Feel free to apply wherever you have Capricorn in your chart, your natal chart. Um, being, you know, internally disciplined, not snapping, not resorting back to insecurities, not self-sabotaging. I saw the Ten of Swords flash at the bottom. Um, and kind of self-observing yourself where insecurities pop up or where low negative expressions of the egoic self pop up. And learning from them, you know, not taking slip-ups personal, but taking them as stepping stones or taking them as uh, viable resources to continue to build with, okay? learning from experience. World card in the reverse is incomplete lesson or a cycle here. Okay, anything else? Disaster averted. So I think that this relationship is moving forward here, which is very cool. Seven is about perfection. These add up to the number seven. It's also the spiritual path. So the chances are this person challenges you to, um, you know, be at your best. Two of Pentacles is about balance and harmony, going with the rhythm, the ebb and the flow of life. Boiling down what are your priorities, what are your virtues, what are your values, and, and finding a fine-tuned balance between all that Capricorn. Capricorn, the mechanic, so I think you want to kind of find that clockwork type balance and, and uh, you know, methodology behind, uh, you know, all things that are important to you, possibly even a relationship. Emperor and Empress could be uh, divine masculine and feminine energies within yourself, so if you're finding time for more feminine expression, or more masculine expression, whatever you feel you need more of. It's harmonizing that yin and yang energy. All right, Cap, love you lots. Appreciate your patronage. And on to Aquarius. Holler for more. Peace.